Okay, so here we are. And I'm going to make this a poly mesh. And about 3,000 years ago, I made another one that's in here somewhere. And here's the jawbone. So this one, I'm going to save as skull done. Non capital. Okay, notice skull done and jaw done now take on a name that I named it as a file name, making it so easy to grab those. Now all I do is have to sort out, find out where my sculpting plane went, which is somewhere floating around in one of these tools. Ah, there it is. And now I can get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. And append the duns. Here's skull done. And here's jaw done. Okay, and jaw done has a, a slight problem for it. It's uh, high. It's hid behind something, and I bet you anything that. Let's see where that's located. Maybe by double clicking scale, you can zoom into that area and find out where it's at. As you can see, it's very small. And that's what the problem is. So, jaw done is dinky. Um, way to conquer that, if I remember right, if you go to draw, you can go down here to deformation, cross your fingers and hit unify, and that'll bring it back. Now, it won't make it perfect, it'll just bring it back. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna have to take some time to scale it down. Again, this is how you scale an object. You click and drag from its points. And click and drag. Click and drag. Move. Okay. Another thing I like to do is the fact that um, you could take this and size it down in, sometimes this is easier for me, uh, size it down in X, okay. I can move it down in Y. And I can even size it down in X, Y, Z if I wanted to. So a lot of times, you know, I'll I'll use this thing <laughs> rather than the, the transpose tool, only because I, I'm so used to moving stuff in X, Y, Z. Okay, so that that's pretty close to what I want right there, and I can adjust the rest of it uh, via either transpose or move. Okay, uh, this thing should have a couple levels, so let's just make sure that, yep, that one has a couple levels. The skull has a couple levels it should have. And if not, that's not a good thing. See how it only has one level, and that's it. So let's make sure it gets in our level by reconstructing. It should bring it back. Now I should have two levels. Very, very important that you keep all your subtools at the same amount of levels going up. Okay, that'll help you out later on. Uh, 
All right, so there's my low poly skull. It's ready to start transforming into a higher polygon skull. It's got good topology, very pleased with it. All right, so in the next video, we start the sculpting process. And this is where um, I dead end this into another assignment. So meet me in the next video where you get your assignment and you can cry. Okay, see you then.